What's up guys, Prophet Beal here. Welcome back to another Prison Architect tutorial. Today we're talking about logic circuits. And this one is a, a fan request. So if you guys have requests, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you want to see or what you're not sure about. And I'd be glad to make a video on it. This request comes from uh, Sergeant Crap Hammer. He says, uh, can you get a video explaining and or not NAND, NOR, and XOR, which are all the different settings for logic circuits. Um, I'm not overly familiar with this, so I did spend some time playing around with it, learning the differences and the nuances in relation to Prison Architect. First things I'll talk about is bureaucracy. So you have to have uh, remote access under bureaucracy unlocked. Uh, in order to be able to put down these logic circuits and door controllers and stuff like that. Uh, basically, it's they're all considered high-tech equipment. So what you guys will see here is I've done is I've uh, created a logic circuit object and a status light. Okay, you'll see I got two pressure pads up. The order that things are connected is extremely important. You have to remember, so the logic circuit itself is going to have the functionality to say it's going to accept inputs and then it's going to have an output. So in this case, I'm using each pressure pad as an input into the logic circuit. And the logic circuit is going out and turning on a light. As this example is set up here, right now the uh, light is off, no one is on either pressure pad, and we're set to AND mode. Which means that I need two people on the pressure pads. So I need two trues in order for the light to come on. So now I'll switch it to OR mode. And what OR mode does is as long as you have somebody on at least one of the pressure pads, the light turns on. Okay, now we're doing not. So in not mode, you'll see that when no one is on the pads, it lights up. But as soon as someone touched that pad, then it turns off. We're right now in NAND mode, which is basically stands for not AND. So it's the literally the opposite of AND. So when you have two people on the pads, that will turn off the light. Everything else turns the light on. Now we have NOR mode. NOR, as you can see, the light is on by default. And then once we get any one person on a pad, it turns the light off. So it's the opposite of OR. It's not OR. Now, next mode is XOR which essentially is, it's just like OR, where one person stepping on the pad will turn it on. However, if you have two people on there, two positives equal a false. So basically, what we're trying to say is that if one pad is used, then that's a positive signal, but it once both pads are used, it's false. The next mode is equals, and in this sense, I am actually not really sure what that means. Um, it appears to work like an OR, where as long as one person is on there, it triggers, and both people being on there also triggers. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching this tutorial. Let me know if this actually helped you understand these logic circuits a little more, um, or if you want something more in-depth, or if you're just a viewer out there and you have other questions, let me know in the comments. I will always up to make more videos if I don't already have one on the subject, or it might be something I can just reply to you right there in the comments. Alright guys, I'm Prophet Beal, and I'll see you later. Hey, look at you. You made it to the end of this tutorial. If you want to see others I've made for this game, click right over here. Or,
click over there on the right to see what other games I've been playing. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.